Ravens. Good Ravens fam. So, this is going to be my top five who I'm really looking forward to seeing in year two of this football season for the Ravens. Let's go. I'm putting hogs on the mile, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven. Cut. I'm just going, I'm just going straight up. Start it right off the bat. Five. Now, technically, number five is not really year two, but it's knock on wood. Their second full healthy year is Deshaun. Elliot. Deshaun Elliott had a pretty good, decent year last year. You can ask, uh, you can ask uh, Titans running back Derrick Henry that they they met very very close with each other, and you know the play what I'm talking about. But that is my number five is Deshaun Elliott. I seen some articles saying. Um, he was pretty much like learning the defense last year just a little bit for as a starter. There is a difference from learning the defense from being a backup to a starter. Starter, you're out there in the action, it's flying, everything is going fast paced. And he was finally healthy for a full year and he showed promise. He showed why the Ravens kept him on board, just like Chuck Clark did. A lot of people did not understand um, why they kept these people, why they didn't trade for certain people. And I believe they did try, but Chuck Clark, great, smart, everything. Deshaun Elliott, smart. Now, they don't have the height. Deshaun Elliott don't have the height, but that physicality, he brings it. Every play, every down, he was there with the ball. Ball in the air, you can see him almost every play. Run, pass, doesn't matter. He was around that ball. I cannot wait to see him. Hopefully, he stays healthy. They said he was getting better this year than he was last year. Learning the plays, help calling out plays, everything. Studying the book knows it very, very well. We already know what our cornerbacks can do. So, with the safeties and the corners on, on, you know, on the same level with each other, for as communication, oh, it's going, it's going to be beautiful for Deshaun. And now, my number four. Once again. He stays healthy. Justin Matabuki. I got to say it like that. For those who look at my reaction videos, you know that's how I say it. Matabuki. Because the dude shows so much promise. He reminds me of a young Brandon Williams. Met, talking about Brandon Williams. Brandon Williams was taught by Nada. The real Raven fans. No Nada. I forgot who that Jet player was that played for the Jets. That he just uh, and he had him flying for like four or five yards. He knows not. But he reminds me, just that matter, Buki reminds me of a young Brandon Williams, but with a little bit more spice because he's learning from some of the best in the game. Nah, we ain't got no. That matter, whoa, whoa. Matter of fact, he is learning from Aaron Donald too. Cause there's footage out there of him working out in the off season with Aaron Donald. So he was a sponge with Aaron Donald, sponge with Calais Campbell, sponge with Brandon Williams, sponge with Derek Wood. Man, I'm just getting hung just talking about it. Oh. And I seen a play in the Titans. They double teamed this young man. 
and he still made the tackle. He split the double team and still made the tackle on Derrick Henry. Beautiful. Just beautiful work. Woo! Can't wait. Now, let me get to my number three. Woo! Just thinking about it, what he can do. Sorry, sorry. Number three. James Prochet. I know a lot of people are thinking about Dev. I see a lot of Dev, you know what I'm saying? For the punt return, all this type of stuff. But I know Dev, when he gets a chance, he's going to do his thing. But I really want to see James Prochet. Because to me, in my opinion, he could possibly have the best hands on the team. I can't say Wallace. I can't say Bateman. I can't say any of those people yet. Because I haven't seen them in action. I seen Prochet like two plays. <laughs> But from the highlights this offseason, training camp, anything comes his way. He's going, he's getting that, that football. I almost said ball. I, I you know, pause. I ain't want to say that. So football. But he's getting it. It's not touching the ground. He's catching that. Also, I seen reports they saying this man is breaking ankles like Allen Iverson. He's not just breaking four, fifth, six cornerbacks ankle. He's breaking Marlon Humphrey ankles. My boy MP Juice man breaking his ankles. And I'm like, ah, I can't wait. They said he had the best hand. I believe they said it. He had the best hands in the draft last year. And they were surprised the Ravens got him because they thought he's going to be gone way before the Ravens selected him. So he's diamond. He's just a diamond. SMU diamond. And I believe he's going to get his chance this year. Now, he was in a doghouse a little bit last year. Don't know why. You know how Harvey's is. But he's showing out this year. He's doing his thing. Eric DaCosta asked him about, I believe it's Shane, Sean Wade. That shows you. He's he's getting his respect. Because no general manager is going to come to you asking about another player you done played with. If your opinion doesn't matter. And now that's one thing I love about the organization. Off topic a little bit. They ask their players because their opinion matters. That's why I believe we really got Keith Williams and T. Martin because their opinion matters. And you know that. And talking about Keith Williams and T. Martin with James Prochet and the other wide receiving corps, it's going to be a beautiful thing. Passing coordinator and all, it's going to be a beautiful thing. So James Prochet is my third. Now my second, I kind of switched back and forth between the second and the first, but my second, my guy, PQ, because PQ, a lot of people said PQ had a decent year last year, in my opinion, after giving it thought and just watching, re-watching some of the games, you have to think in consideration. There was no, there was really no um, training really last year. No off season. It was all virtual as well. That really right there just really takes it all the virtual. It was just watching the plays on a virtual screen. You can't really, really understand the playbook and get that one-on-one -on -one communication when you're not there out there on the field like they should, like they are this year. And I'm really looking forward to him balling out this year. I think it's, he's gonna he's gonna wreak some havoc. His coverage is really not that bad. We've had some players that Chris Board 
cannot really cover, but he's flying, he's doing everything. So I believe he's gonna really, really, really fall out this year. Now, you already know who my number one is. You already know who it is. J.K. Dobbins. Like, J.K. Dobbins. Come on. You already you already knew this at the when I said number five, you already knew who number one was gonna be. What seven I believe seven hundred and something yards? Wasn't even a starter. Got taken out the game when he was hot. But for a full year, with an offseason, learning to play, getting that jail with Lamar, working on his receiving, oh, it's going to be special. This man is finna take the lead. PFF, y'all already know how I feel about them. They are not smart. Look what they dissed Lamar. They done dissed JK. They done put a, what was that? They put a, a rookie that haven't even played a lick in the NFL above him. JK gonna do some damage this year. So much damage. Him been, ooh, wee! I know Saturday is the first preseason game. I know we ain't gonna see that much, but it's getting close. He's gonna still form ankle take on him and Gus. Oh, and he's learning from Gus as well. And Gus is still young. He learned from Ingram. It's gonna be something special. JK. Mr. 2000 and something yards in college, I believe it was, or something like that. He finally gets his full year. Jitter went in the first, but he was a steal. Thank you. But whew, can't wait, y'all. So y'all, y'all tell me my, my, what, what you think about my list and what's your list. Give me your top five second year players. I know my fifth now. Technically, wasn't second year, but this is going to be his full second year playing healthy. Because we know Sean Elliott has been injured bug. So y'all tell me what you think. Five, Deshaun Elliott. Four, Justin Matabuki. Three, James Prochet. Two, P. Q. And one, JK. So you t yeah, tell me what you think. What's your five? Tell me. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share. Thanks for the support. God bless.